Liverpool, peace be unto you. Welcome to the Dean Show today in the studio, backed by popular demand. He's been known now, giving a great lecture on the Dean Show, only on the Dean Show, Islam in the Bible. You can view it at the website, thedeanshow.com. He's back again here in the Dean Show studio. Without further delay, let's bring out our special guest, Joshua Evans. Allah is only one word. How are you? How are you? You see that uh, last time you were with us, you, you, put, on, you put on some really uh, great material and it really uh, got to be viewed by a lot of people worldwide. And we want to now, we're glad that you're back with us again. We want to uh, have you talk about this up and coming uh, show that you're doing called The uh, True Gospel of Jesus. Yes, um, to this, this time we're going to do a show based on what was the true gospel message of Jesus Christ? What did he really talk about? You know, we hear that the gospel of Jesus was this, this, the preachers say this, you know, the, the, the pastors say this, but I want to go into the Bible. This is what I did when I wanted to find the truth about God is I went into the Bible and said, okay, if I follow Jesus, what did he really say? What did he really preach? Uh, that's what you're going to be talking about uh, this week on the Dean Show. For those of you who don't know who Joshua Evans is, he's a former... <coughs> Christian youth minister. Now we have his interview on his section on the Dean Show along with other shows that he's done. You can view this anytime. Just log on, check it out, and we're going to be adding these new shows uh, along with this one to his section on the Dean Show. So tell us a little more. So you're going to be talking about the true gospel of Jesus? The true gospel of Jesus. Real quickly, give us a glimpse how you came to Islam. I came to Islam back in 1998 after an in-depth search of the Bible. I was trying to become a Bible scholar. I really wanted to use the Bible since it was to a Christian the way to live your life. So I wanted to know more about this book. I wanted to know everything about it. So as I searched more, I began to realize that there was some things wrong with it, that it was not the true Word of God as most people claim. So I, then I began an in-depth search that if this is not, then where does the true word of God lie? What is the true way of life that God wants me to live? So I searched almost every religion that you can think of um, that is known on the face of the planet until I finally, you know, by the grace of God, came in contact with Islam. And when I came in contact with Islam and read the Quran, the, the, the holy book that is revered by Muslims, that was revealed to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, then I saw that the true gospel message of Jesus Christ and this Quran were one and the same. They were one and the same. Islam and what the Bible really said at, at its original state were one and the same. So I, this is how I, short story, you know, a long story made very short, this is how I accepted Islam. If you want to see the complete interview on how he came to Islam, more detail, like I said, on his section on the Dean Show, we have this interview with Joshua Evans, Yusha, how he came to Islam, one man's tale. Now we're going to move on. We have a few questions for you. Tell us, now that you're a Muslim, and a Muslim is one, one who submits, submits himself. himself willingly to what? To the will of God. Okay, nothing created but to the creator of the heavens and the earth. Creator. Very simple. And he does Islam, which means? He submits. He submits. He okay. submits himself entirely. His entire life becomes a life that is lived according to the will and the law of God. Okay, so you're going to hear Muslim, which is one who does Islam, which is an action, it's a verb, it's to submit, surrender, with obedience sincerely to the will of the creator of the heavens and the earth, worshiping him alone, correct? Yes. So you're going to hear this word Islam, Muslim. You're going to hear the word Allah. We're going to yes. use Allah, which means? Allah means the God. It is the proper noun for God. Yes. It is the name that was not only used by Muslims, it is used by Arab Christians. If you open an Arab Bible, a Bible in Arabic, the first word in the first, the fourth word in the book is Allah. That uh, God created the heaven and earth in seven days. This was the word that was used by the Jews. Uh, this was a word that was used by Jesus Christ in his own language. He said, Allah. This was the word for God in Aramaic, which is the language Jesus spoke. And in, and in Judaism, it's Eloha. All of the same. All of, the, all of it just means that the one true God that is all your actions, directions, and worship should be focused towards this one God, the creator of the heavens and the earth, so and no one else. In Aramaic, Jesus, peace be upon him, would say Allah. Allah. And we say Allah. We say Allah. That's the God we call upon. Yes. Yeah, and one. Jesus, when he said God, he said Allah. Exactly. So now, tell us, now that you're a Muslim, uh, you probably have mixed reactions from people. Tell us, why do you think you know, certain people bash Islam? And tell us your experience in dealing with different people who are Christian or who have heard your story? I think that most people today are very 
detrimental towards Islam and bashing Islam because it's somewhat the status quo of the day. You know, it's what you hear, you know, it's what's being talked about the most, you know, all of people's anger now is being, of the world in general, is being misplaced on Muslims. You know, we're getting the brunt of the issues, um, which is incorrect, but it's not anything new. This has happened, you know, time and time again. It happened to uh, the, the, the Japanese in the World War II era. You know, it happened to all of those who claimed to follow communism during the Cold Wars. You know, it happened to, you know, the, the Indians. It happened to the African Americans, you know. We're just the next in line. So what we have to do is follow in the footsteps of those who came before us in combating it with the truth. Getting out there, being outspoken, you know, saying what Islam really is, presenting in a true fashion, which we are trying to do right now. This is our purpose, so that people can see the truth and make their own decisions. And just to point out that, if I'm correct, tell me that it is not a Muslim's job to try to convert anybody. It's not our job no. to try to convert people to Islam. It's simply to convey the clear message. Yes. And what is that message? That message is that we should submit ourselves completely and entirely to the will of the Creator and follow His law. That's, that's a Muslim's job is just to convey this message, just to deliver the message. That's it. That God is one, worship Him alone. The Quran is the verbatim word of God. That's it. And now Muhammad is the last and final messenger in yes. a line of messengers. Yes. And now it's up to you. If you want to submit to God, if you don't, yes. you'll be accountable. There's a day of judgment. And at the end, you'll be rewarded according to um, and uh, your actions or you'll be punished yes it's very simple that's it okay so just to point that out it's not our job we're not trying to convert nobody we're just trying to educate and clear a lot of the misconceptions and the uh, the ignorance that's out there and which leads to many of these things that uh, people do and say tell us about people who have some knowledge how do you deal with people that come out and they claim to have some knowledge